final. Obviously Axelson was really young then, but still a nice thing to have on your CV. Ranked formerly as, as uh, lowest number 10 in the world. So players coming on court. I was talking about uh, Liu Thomas Cup Silver in 2014. On the Polish Open a year after that. He's way down the rankings now. He's down at 88. That high ranking I mentioned was back in 2013. Sugiato from Indonesia won the Singapore Open a couple of years back. He has been as high as three in the overall rankings, down at 25 now, but he is the defending champion here and will desperately want to defend that title. I guess you'd probably make Sugiati favourite. I'm tired. Steam, but it, it might be a bit closer than, than many might think this match. I'm feeling. No? So uh, it might be uh, definitely Sugiati the favourite, no doubt about that. So you see there, the previous meeting, it went all the way, it went to three games. Well, potentially every chance of that. We'll see what happens over the next hour or so. Thirty now. For you. Highest ranking of ten, as I mentioned, back uh, well some five years ago now. Here's his route through to the final. Had a, a real struggle in the first round. He uh, knocked out the number three seed. 23-21 in the third game. But he's got here. That's the important thing. Sugiato's one year his junior. Born in Jakarta. Has been a top three player, as I mentioned, and here's how he got here. Has not dropped a game so far. Hasn't really been pushed hard. Hong Nguyen gave him a couple of scares a couple of days back, but came through comfortably enough in the end. Ready to pay. Well, as I said, last time they met, it did go the full distance, so we won't see what happens today. Place in the final to play Leong Jun Hao at stake. Yeah, no. As you mentioned, Trevor, Darren Liu was experiencing a uh, tougher position in the first match against uh, Pet Pradip and uh, had to save three match points to um, progress to the second round and now he's here in the semi-final with the chance to enter the final so it's really the small markings in badminton whether you get a break and get confidence Ladies and gentlemen, get out of the tournament on my right Darlene Liu Malaysia and on my left, Tommy Skianto, Indonesia. Dalla Liu to serve. Love all. Play. I wonder who the crowd are going to side with here. No, first match we've had on this show court without a, a home base player. So over. One love. Yeah, but 
at uh, all the Go. matches that we're showing today are featuring Malaysian players, actually. There are only three nations represented in the semifinals here. Sorry, sorry. Of course, these two and then One, Thailand. Two. Yes, and I would imagine that pretty much all of those Malaysians will be playing on home soil next weekend or next week. Finals next weekend in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, at least um, a number of them will be, but I'm not really certain. Let me check up on that. Uh, on the ranking of, um, the current ranking of Darren Liu, so that's 88, so he three, might not be one. ranked high enough to get into um, Malaysia Open with the new uh, BW, uh, HSBS BWF World Tour. Qualifying is only um, 16 players. Three, all. Well, early signs that this might be competitive. It. So it's over. Four, three. He's just in down here as the last in the qualification in next week's Malaysia Open in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Short points so far in the early exchanges here. Oh. We're getting closer, but still the wrong side of the line. National training. Bam. He's um, started with Badminton Association of Malaysia, of course, but um, Dan Lee so chose over. to and become independent four. and be what they call professional a number of years ago. Showed a lot of promises uh, in Nine, four. yeah in 2012 when he won the uh, French Open Super Series as you mentioned and uh, was by many expected to be the heir to um, Li Cheng Wei's throne but um, the pressure Ten, apparently uh, got the better of him. That last shot was born of frustration, wasn't it? Just thrashed at it really the net he finds himself six points behind in the blink of an eye here and literally Sugiato hasn't broken sweat yet Was so asking for that and got the treat. Five, ten. More 
like it. Six, ten. Yeah, and then there's no doubt that uh, Darren has the uh, technical skills to uh, Seven, ten. challenge on this level here. So 4 10 to 7 10. Into the comeback, which continues. And 10. Slice smash there from Tommy Sugiato. He is one of the most effortless looking players around. Even when he performs that jump smash, it just looks like he's kind of ambling up into the air and casually swinging the racket, but it's, it's perfectly timed. Great technique, and he finds himself with a little cushion here early on. Against the Malaysian. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. Yeah, and I guess Tommy's also playing independent. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but um, as far as I'm concerned, the Indonesian. Uh, Badminton Association chose a couple of years ago to put emphasis on the Below younger players end. like Anthony Play. Ginting and um, uh, Isan Mustafa, who oh. got knocked out of this tournament earlier. Mustafa. So slower, 9 11. Just a succession of winners at the moment, isn't it, from both of them? Great play again. Eleven all. From Liu. It was 10 4 down, remember. He's now fought back to 11 all. He looks the player in the ascendancy at the moment. <laughs> that was the commentator's curse, wasn't it? <laughs> so we saw her. 12 11. A uh, bit of a different pace in this match compared to. The first semi-final between the two teenagers. Uh, you're a little bit more Don't deliberate. Yes. Well, I don't think we've had a rally more than about 14 or 15 strokes so in this match so far, have we? No. Well, oh. A challenge? So we no. saw her. No. 13 all. It was just a frustrated wave of the racket. Good move not to involve the Four. technology. And another good shot. 14 13. Leo's in front now.
Oh, yes. He's absolutely in the groove at the moment. Going forehand or backhand doesn't seem to make any difference. And again. Very good placement. Oh, he's, 16, on, he's on fire, isn't 14. he? For you. Uh, he wouldn't put it that way, judging by his <laughs> the way he's moving around <laughs> court. But he's hitting some good shots. Oh. Ooh. Almost a surprise when he misses one. So sober. 14, 16. Prior to that, he'd won 12 with the previous 15 points. He just pushed another one yeah, wide. 10-4. 15, 16. <laughs> it's amazing, oh. isn't it? Playing so well. And then suddenly three errors oh. out of nowhere, and we're, we're back on level terms again. shaking his head because he, he could do no wrong for about five or ten minutes all of a sudden yeah about find the court oh mr what, what happened there so we saw where 17 all Way, way too short lift from uh, Tommy Sugato. If we get the replay, 17. look at the feet of uh, Darren Leo, the red shoes. I don't think he's served particularly well in this match so far, Sugato. He's under pressure again here. You with an 18-17 lead. Play. Line again unerringly. Now 20, he's got game three point game points. 17. He's definitely not planning on wearing Tommy Sukiata down. Not going to wear his shoes out either no. in the current rate. Oh. Well, it didn't take very long. He was 10 4 down first and ends up winning 21 17 that first game. Really good comeback from Liu. 14 minutes is all it took. Hardly had a long rally in the in the game. And food for thought for the number two seed and the defending champion. Shake of the head there. Whilst the coach was leaving. Well, he's a pretty cool, calm, collected customer, isn't he? But inwardly, he can't have been pleased with the way he played in that first game. He looked to be completely in charge. He's shaking his head as well. <laughs> There's a whole lot of shaking don't, going don't on. Don't play on like this. As someone yeah. once famously said. Of a coach. One of the 
other things that we can say after this first game is that there's not a whole lot of Indonesian or Malaysian Second fans down. here in uh, the Nimiputsa Lobo. Stadium. No. It's gone uh, a little bit quiet after the first three matches with Thai involvement. Ball. Well, we've got still two matches Slowly to come slower. after this. Uh, women's doubles low. and men's doubles, and there's Thai involvement in both. And of course, tomorrow we've got plenty of Thai involvement as well, so the noise levels will be uh, going up shortly. He's really landing that with ruthless efficiency at the moment. Slowly slower. One all. wide but certainly leaves no respecter of the uh, Sukiyati serve he's, he's attacking it virtually every time a player that um, plays with so high risk Four, as uh, Darren Lee does the only thing you can do is sort of just stay in it and hope that it will tip over the edge at some point and that the mistakes will be um, of higher number than, than the winners well he's made a good start so the to this uh, second game and we lead Mind you, he had an early lead in the first game, didn't do him any good. So it's over. Two, four. So the artist, son of a former world champion, and his sister is also a very talented player. So it runs in the family. We need some of that hereditary talent now. Oh! Floated long, that'll help. Casual. The, probably the hardest shot in the game. The three. backhand over your shoulder, but yeah, he, he normally has the skills to do it. Um, Darren. Good shot. Good shot. Good deception. There's no way that. He's going to change his tactics. After they worked no so spectacularly in the first game. So Sugarito needs uh, knows what's coming. It's a of whether he can deal with it. Good leave. No, oh, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Was he? But as Five, you said earlier, we're on the opposite side, so we're not really in a good position. But there's two players that have um, they've not played a whole lot of finals lately. Thomas Sugiato, of course, won this tournament last year in, in February. And that's his last oh. um, final appearance whilst um, 
Darren Leaves' last final appearance. That was in 2016. In, um, I think it was early December in Korea Masters. I, I'm surprised he didn't challenge that. That looks, that looks very, very close. Sometimes wonder whether all the players remember all the time they've got these challenges available. Yeah. Rally of the match and finished oh. with a winner. Always challenging it. Thought it was good, but the arm's gone up. Let's have a look. Dallin Liu challenges <laughs> call out. I think he might have been better off challenging the previous one. <laughs> yeah. Challenges unsuccessful. One challenges remaining. Nine, five. Play. <laughs> it's a bit of a running theme, this. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Brilliant again. Solon nine. Go through a little run of unforced errors, and then we see some magic like this for five or six points. Niato had that big lead in the first game. Doesn't want to let his opponent get too close to him in this. It's a little bit the same pattern as in the, the first game that Sugiata's off to a good start and now Darren and Leo has oh. catched up and uh, he's he keeps on producing these winners and uh, threading, threading the smashes down the lines and so on. Um, of course we should... Um, and again, that was probably the best of a lot. Yeah. Wow. He used to be a very, very good defensive uh, player at Tommy Sukiyan, so apparently that's totally gone. Um, but then again, to be fair, it's, it's if your opponent hits the lines all the time, what, what can you do? Uh, well, I think half of these, well, more than half of these winners are completely indefensible, yeah. as you say. And when a, when a man is going on all the way out attack like Court that, one, 20 seconds. he's got to hope Court he one, misses a few. <laughs> yeah. But that last one, that, that smash there, he should have been at it, in my opinion. Ready to play. So the defending champion with much to contemplate here. A game down. 11, 10. 11 10 down. Play. And on the end of a barrage of winners from the Malaysian. something to happen quickly. Sorry, sorry. 11 all. Oh. 
Oh, totally went in the wrong direction there. Darren Come on. Lee. Eleven. Ended up just inside the um, baseline, I think. He keeps <laughs> testing him and he keeps answering it. There were a couple of shots in that valley so I thought might have been wide actually for you. And uh, Sugarito decided to play them. I mean, easy from up here, but that was never going to come back. I was going to say, I'll be disgusted with himself for that. Because he read the serve, didn't he? And then, yeah. really, having done the hard work, did that. Oh! It's a cheap point back, though. So it's over. 13 14. That was oh. not the best return of service that Dan Liu has ever produced. 14 all. Oh. So now Sugiato back in front. This uh, topsy turvy second game, but still right in the melting pot. Sixteen, fourteen. Well, that's two of those he's missed. Yeah, I think I guess. We're in the same situations as the women's singles that Sugiato needs to take a bit more control of the rallies without sacrificing too much. But that's a terrible oh. shot again. The shot quality has just been awful, sorry, sorry. in my opinion, from, uh, 15, from Sugiato 15. so far. Well, he's certainly keeping Liu interested in this game. Close as well. So we saw her 17 15. No challenge though. Sugiato has found a bit of momentum. 18, 15. That's a very opportune moment. The full length dive. Couldn't save uh, Liu there. Thank you. Ready to pay. Well, probably 
Dewar an easy Sorry, kill. Sorry. 16, 19. Clever. Yeah, a little bit of change of pace here, and seems like Sakata is struggling a little bit on the front court. Just reacts. A bit too late for that one. Overcompensated with that backhand after missing a couple, just kind of hung it up there. And so there are two. It's like sending him the wrong way from a penalty spot. Three game points. Yeah. And he needed one, so we are all square here at one game Seven all. 21 17 in that second game. 21 17. One game Set all. up for what should be a fascinating finale to this. Men's semi final. Two sets that are two games rather that have taken absolutely no time. And difficult to pick a winner, I think, at this point as well. Yeah. Um, You're going to go with Sugiato. I'm going to go with Sugiato. <laughs> I definitely am because he's finishing on the uh, better side for men's singles play. And I think. <laughs> Darren must have been playing to the max of his um, capacity hitting those lines. I don't think he can keep up doing it, and um, that should um, give Sukiyasu the uh, better chance. see very shortly just a couple of minutes uh, respite they have caught one 20 games. seconds caught one 20 seconds good news I don't imagine either of them are particularly tired it's not been that kind of a match quick rallies hoping rather than genuinely thinking. Yeah, you would think that Sugiasa is a bit more experienced than uh, Darren Leo in playing in these drifting oh. conditions. What? That looked odd. Looks on the line or close to it. From I mean, We were a long way away. The hand went up pretty quickly. Oh. To me it looked uh, clearly inside the line. I agree we were in a really, really bad position. We couldn't Possibly really be longer away in this hole here. And it was good. It wasn't Call inside the line, game. but it wasn't out as well. Sorry, sorry. One all. Pretty sure that's the first successful challenge of the day on the show. I ball. think so. Which makes you realise what a good job the line officials do. The vast majority of the time. Play. They have done an excellent job. Real aggression. And that shot from Sigiato. Three, one. 
Well, the bit is still flying Close from cover. both Two, sides of the court. Three. I can't believe he wasn't onto that one, Thomas Fukiato. He normally has got such a good defense. Well, that foxed him in the end. Three, all. Just a few signs in this deciding game that Lou's maybe not going for broke in terms of power all the time. That was almost what they call in, in basketball hang time, Bobby wasn't Silver. it? <laughs> <laughs> it just sort of seemed to be frozen in mid-air yeah. when he played this. Look at that. As soon as Shigiata gets the rallies going, gets um, Five, Leo to three. move on his side of the court um, and not having these attacking opportunities, then things get considerably easier for um, Tommy Shigiata. He's playing Five. his chance there. Ball. You can see that, that he's got so much badminton in Five. him. Uh, it just seems like um, the physical part of the game has um, um, sort of not been targeted for a while for, for Darren. And just that he's uh, a lot of on-court practice back in Malaysia. Well, he's, he's still firing in Six, five, a barrel load of winners. Yeah, nothing wrong with the, the record skills read of the game ready to play you can see glimpses of why he won that super series back in uh, 2012 dangerous from both his forehand and his back inside play. And he was very close to that. Yeah, very close. Galileo I'm glad I didn't have to call that one. <laughs> well, it's going to be adjacent. Whether it's adjacent enough, we'll find out. Not quite. Good job, linesman. Challenges unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Sorry, sorry. Six. Oh. Play. Oi. Oh. Well, it's almost Someone anything you can do, six. I can do better every other point from yeah. one of them or the other. <laughs> they go neck to neck I still think I am siding with Sugiyatsu because uh, when they change ends he, he plays the, Play. the better end but on the other hand uh, 
down Leo if they go neck to neck um, even longer. That's on the line. Yep. If they go next to neck even longer, then I mean, Sorry, Sora. he's got as good a chance Seven. as, uh, oh. as um, Tommy if it gets to 18 all or something like that. Well, and also, also he won the first game from that end, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. So we'll see. Oh, he won it from this from this end. Yeah. Yeah. Got a second wind at the moment. Liu asking the defending champion some fairly searching questions. Big point coming up now. I'm going to go to the chair. 11-8. 11-8. That would be a nice lead. Oh. <laughs> 9-10. I think 11-8 being a nice lead was exactly what he was thinking. Yeah. He wasn't concentrating on the serve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, become 10-11. 10, 11. Ten all. A service error and a, and a miss. Sugiato would be the first to admit he's not been his most consistent Ready display. He's played some excellent sh shots at times, but also yeah. he's been on the wrong end of a load of winners from his opponent. Yeah, the, the, the I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed about uh, Sugiato's play here. It's disappointing that he's, um, he's not able to make it more difficult Kilo for Darren to, to score winners Play. and it's disappointing that he's not capable of uh, retrieving more in the defense that he's not faster than he's looked today that, that that's disappointing me a little bit um, I must say that but we can see it's, it's a little bit different when he plays this side here where he doesn't have to think too much about how much power he puts on the shots to the baseline. Well, it was a, a net court initially, but it didn't really matter from Liu's point of view. He gets the point. There was the net court. I'll take anything at this stage. 12-10.
good lift there. Very nice touch from uh, Darren Liu. Rallies of the match, I would reckon. And uh, a big point, Sugiato. Uh, just gone wide, but what a great shot it was. Technically, really, really good performance there. Play. So finally, a little bit of daylight in Sukiyato's favour, 14-12. Chat. Just wonder whether maybe a little bit of heart hasn't gone out of the. Yeah, it's probably launching his last um, attempt at a comeback now. But you can see it's it's full risk on all the shots, and the chance that he's successful is, uh, in my opinion, slim. Judging from this match, uh, I think Lin Jun Hao uh, so by many be considered as the favourite tomorrow, but I, I just think it's going to be a totally different match because uh, this man here, Darren Leo, he has the capacity for hitting these big winners uh, and he's going 100% after them and, and I think it's going to look entirely different tomorrow with um, Sorry, 13, 17. Lin Jun Hao playing one of these two players here. It's going wide. Just got to be careful here. Yeah. yeah. 14, and he, he can't 17. make mistakes like this. I mean, if he plays on and, and prolongs the rally, he's going to win the rallies. At least the vast majority of them. Now there's another mistake. 15, 17. And all the time it's encouragement for Liu who to say had a kind of a sagging of the shoulders a few moments ago. Got so much touch down yes. there. Fantastic. It's being challenged by Sigurita. I think this is a bit of a desperation challenge. Look good to Coffee me. We'll have a look. In. Lee will be absolutely destroyed if this goes uh, against him and gets overturned because 1815 or 1716, obviously massive. I think he's okay. Never in doubt. unsuccessful. Um, perfectly reasonable challenge by Thomas Ogiato also to sort 16, of break the rhythm of um, Darren Leo. But, but watching a rally like this just makes me think that um, Darren he should Play. have had so much more um, great matches in his career. Not gotten um, enough out of his talent. Sorry, sorry. 18, 16. 
And is that is that a mental thing? Is it coaching, or is it just one of those things you don't know? What, yeah, can't put your finger on it. It's really hard to know uh, when you're not uh, close to the player yeah. in the uh, everyday training, everyday life. It could be a number of factors. I definitely think there's a lot of pressure from uh, uh, Malaysian association and Malaysian media and so on. Play. And, and I think a couple of times he, uh, he crumbled under pressure, but um, that, that's quite common. I mean, there's many players that I've seen come crumble under pressure in the beginning of their career and then coming up winners later on. When the first Olympic well in Dan was the top seat, he lost in the first round to Ronald Susilo of Singapore. So um, it's all about. The long time, the long term work and improvement. Good smash there from Sugiato. Mental stability is key in, in any sport. Meanwhile, he's got a two point lead again, and he's just a couple of points away. Just needs some attention for something. Play. Another one of those big shots just when he Sorry needed it. Sorer, 18, 19. And we've got another <laughs> tense, tight, deciding game here. Got a couple of those already this Ready afternoon. straight back at the body and it earns Figurito a couple of match points Disappointing end for uh, Liu, but he uh, gave us tremendous entertainment. Having won the first set 21 17, he then loses the second by the same score, and then 21 18 to Sugarito in the decider. And so Sugarito will go through and Next will have the chance to defend his title, but a much closer than he would have wanted, and, and great 18. entertainment for the neutrals here, that's for sure. Yeah. Look at the final point. I don't know how much this missed by this last shot. Pretty close to me. I was just willing it to go out. Sugarito. So, confirmation of the score. He wins 17 21, 21 17, 21 18. We have. A women's doubles up next in a couple of minutes. <laughs>